So, und da sind wir dann eigentlich auch direkt. Äh, ich mache hier mal den Stream aus, sonst höre ich mich wieder doppelt. Das wollen wir ja nicht. Äh, so, hallo. Genau, ich spiele jetzt äh, Space Venture. Ich hoffe, ich bin nicht zu laut. Ich mache mal das Mikro ein bisschen runter. Und das pegelt hier mir sehr ins Ohr. Dankeschön. So. Ja, genau, ich äh, wollte... Äh, äh, <lacht> Entschuldigung. So, nochmal noch mal, noch mal neu. Genau, ich spiele halt halt Space Venture, das äh, neue Spiel von den Two Guys of, uh, from Andromeda. Und äh, es ist ja quasi ein geistiger Nachfolger zu den ganzen Space Quest Spielen, die ich seit ewig auf meinem Pile of Shame habe, ähm, bisher nie gespielt, aber ich meine, ich hätte zehn Jahre Zeit gehabt, die zu spielen, weil so lange hat dieses äh, Meisterwerk der Adventure-Kunst, das ich jetzt hier gleich spielen werde, äh, gebraucht. Ich habe das schon mal ein wenig angespielt, bisher noch nicht durch, sondern nur mal schon so ein bisschen reingespielt, um mit der Steuerung ein bisschen vertraut zu werden, weil die ist, die hat einige Besonderheiten, die nicht ganz so, ähm, ja, <lacht> einfach zu verstehen sind. Ich hoffe, ist alles in Ordnung, in dir hört mich und so. Echt weit, so, kann ich irgendjemand mal im Chat was sagen, wenn noch irgendjemand da ist. Ah, da ist tatsächlich jemand noch da, gut. Das war wahrscheinlich kurz... Windows Shift T, Windows Steuerung T, ah ja, da, so, äh. <lacht> so nicht, genau, ich war aber nur gerade ganz gut abgelenkt, weil ich musste eben hier mein OBS-Fenster auf, äh, auf äh, immer im Vordergrund stellen, ich darf, ich darf dieses Meisterwerk, ich werde dieses Meisterwerk, ich sehe gerade, wenn ich streame ich unter Windows, weil unter Linux wollte es plötzlich heute nicht mehr laufen. Es lief die ganze Zeit und dann wollte es es gerade eben nicht mehr laufen. Ja, wie gesagt, ja, den, den ist eigentlich kein Code, den man einlösen muss. Das, ja, beziehungsweise, ja, ist ja schon, man registriert sich das ja bei, bei Itch.io, um sich dann runterzuladen. Genau. Ähm so, genau, dann stach. Ich sollte natürlich dann auch mal auf das Spiel umschalten. Hallo? Ah ja. Ich mach jetzt. Warum zeigt jetzt hier. Das will er mich doch ärgern. Es zeigt. Äh, oh, jetzt ist das Spiel nicht an. Warum nicht? Lief gerade die ganze Zeit. So starte ich das Spiel auch mal neu und hoffe, dass OBS es dann anzeigt. Irgendwie ohne. Nö. Ist das nicht das?
Es ist. Ah. Natürlich, klar. Ich habe das gerade stundenlang im OBS laufen gehabt. Da lief es immer. Und jetzt, wo ich halt streame, jetzt will es nicht mehr. Schauen wir mal, ob ich es anders abgegriffen bekomme. Mache ich gerade so, ich habe gerade hier gerade, greife ich ab meinem gesamten Fenster ab. Das ist nicht ganz so schön, aber egal, Hauptsache es funktioniert. Natürlich geht das natürlich immer wieder ins Spiel geht automatisch in den Hintergrund, sobald man rausklickt. Aber wie gesagt, ich kriege alles hin. So. so, das ist es nur so etwas, das ist etwas dunkel, aber ah okay, das sieht besser aus. Ha, so, wir haben ein Spiel. Yay! Oh, ein bisschen ein ganz klein. Tick größer. So, und dann jetzt sieht ihr auch mal hinten wieder wunderschönen Hintergrund. Ja, und jetzt nicht mehr. So, ha! Kann ich ja den Ton anmachen. Immer wenn ich rausklicke, dann müsste das, das ist jetzt etwas nervig, aber ich sollte jetzt ja nicht mehr rausklicken. So. Space Research Station Nostrodomus. Looks like your standard airlock door for the most part, except for the overly complex and redundant opening mechanisms. I'm terribly sorry, but we're not taking any deliveries today, my good fellow. Oh, no. You see, we're having a bit of a um, <coughs> situation here. Uh, so please do come back uh, tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. <laughs> Until then. Yeah, I'm Ace Hardway from Galaxy Router. Let me guess, you're the facility manager, right? You called us, something about a problem with your LSS, you know, your life support system. That little thing there, kind of crucial. Oh, splendid. Yes, I am the acting facilities manager. My name is Mervyn Spleen. How do you do? But you can call me Mr. Spleen. Uh, it is about time you showed up, I must say. Yeah, blame the traffic on the beltway for that. So, uh, Mr. Spleen, was it? Do you wanna, you know, let me in? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Security lockdown override initiated. Security. Lockdown. Well, that's nice. Oh, yes, that. I pay it no mind. You're clear to open the airlock door now. Uh, do hurry, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see here. It doesn't look like your standard airlock mechanism. Oh, geez, that's great. I thought I'd seen them all. But apparently not. 
Das hat mich jetzt am Anfang etwas länger gebraucht, als ich es äh, ja, gerne zugeben muss. Man kann in dem Spiel so ziehen und Dinge drehen. Und dann, also man kann halt Sachen bewegen. Und aber das. Now that I've turned the handle, it won't budge. I guess that means I've done something correctly. <coughs> now then, how are we coming along with that airlock door? Just a minute. Yeah, sorry about that, but your mechanism got a little stuck there. I can take care of that for you, lube it up. Just a minor extra charge. Look, um, Ace, was it? Yes, how great. I'm a little depressed for time, so could we, um... All right, I get the picture. So, uh, uh, what's the problem with life support? What's it, uh, not supporting life or something? Uh, we appear to have, uh, something blocking our reactor cooling system, making temperatures a tad uncomfortable, uh, to put it mildly. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's like a freaking sauna in here. No worries, though. I deal with this sort of thing all the time. Fascinating. Well, it sounds like we certainly called the right man for the job, didn't we? <laughs> My goodness, look at the time. I must move along, so I'll leave you to your task, shall I? <laughs> yes. Hey, relax. I'm a certified professional. I'll have your system back up to nominal flow status ASAP. Guaranteed. Oh, and more important, is your cafeteria still open? I was hoping to, you know, maybe get a bite on the way in. Huh. Well, he was in a hurry. Least he could have done was point me to the cafeteria. I should have hit Taco Nova when I had the chance. Well, I'll just knock this job out pronto and grab a little something later. Okay, time to get to work. Now to find the ship's reactor. Der kleine Hund ist eigentlich das süßeste an dem ganzen Spiel. of items fit for a janitor. While it's tempting and one can never have too much crevice buffing product, that's not how I roll. I may regret it later, but that's life. I do have principles after all. I don't do windows. Eine Keycard. So. Ja, das hatte ich jetzt hier. How about inaccessible? Ja, they're hot! That's not normal. Naja, brauchst du auch nicht anfassen, brauchst du hinlaufen. are heating up all over the ship. I better get to the reactor room possible. Hmm, huh. there's a pushy hat. 
Pushy out. Ah! Nice no one ever around to hear these chaps. Hello, Ace. It's your mother. Mommy? That's right, dear. Your very own virtual mother is here to help in any way she can. You need only ask. Ah, uh, well, uh, Mom. What I could use right now is some directions for finding my way around this ship. Why, certainly, dear. I would be more than happy to access a ship schematic for you. But I think someone has forgotten to use the magic word. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, sorry, Mom. Listen, if you'd just be a peach and route us to the nearest elevator, please, that'd be just, uh, well, really swell. But of course, dear, a mother lives for her baby. Allow me to access the database. Ah, there it is. Calculating, calculating. Sheesh. Simple Maps app is all I need. What was that, dear? You'll need to enunciate more clearly. It's called thinking out loud, Ma. You always want to make a good first impression, Ace. You never know when you may be speaking to that special lady or a prospective employer. Of course, your mother is patient because she knows you mean well and that you will heed her advice. <laughs> my palms. The door swishes open and a wave of satisfaction rushes over Ace. Sure, it's not the level of satisfaction one gets from performing a triple bypass on a unilateral phase detractor, but it's up there. I'd rather not touch anything here that's not absolutely necessary. Auch spielen das ist auch ganz, das ist tatsächlich ganz nett so. Und ich kann halt auch Sachen bedienen. Oh, schade, Maniac. Dann bis später. So und jetzt, das ist jetzt, das war, das, das wäre jetzt dumm. Zeige ich jetzt nur mal um. Weil Aber es ist halt ganz nett, weil dann beginnt man halt quasi wieder beim. Der macht halt beim Beginn gerade jeder solcher Quest-Dinge. Macht ja ein Autosave und dann beginnt man halt da da. Also, es ist schon. Kann zwar in den Spielen sterben, aber es ist jetzt nicht ganz so schlimm, wenigstens bisher, wo ich das so hatte. Nein, Ace. Yeah, what would be the point of that?
Yay! Him nope, best not to wake him. Schauen wir uns doch mal so. No time for mystery sock puppet theater. Maybe I'll just gently drag it out of the way. Well, one little bite wouldn't hurt. And I'm pretty sure Dudley do nothing probably wouldn't notice. Now what the hell? Come to Papa. Burger gegessen, die Pommes eingesteckt. Ist auch super, dass da Pommes in der. This might save me a trip. I'll take that. So. Got it. So. Oh, da ist noch ein. Come to Papa. Ah, wired. The retro print edition. Good mag. Good thing I got a layer of latex between my digits and this. Yeah. Glove. <laughs> Yahtzee. Yeah, no, nothing more to do here. Hitting me here, Alice. Bleh. Now I gotta watch my sugar intake. I'll dig for the prize inside, but I bet Sleeping Beauty here already fished it out. Blech. No need. I got my own super modified multifunction router tool, right, little buddy? And Roger will call. Blech. What a disorganized mess. I'm gonna have to dig a little to find anything useful in here. Good thing I'm sporting hand protection. Ja, das Spiel, wenn man einmal so den ganzen mit, dem, mit, mit den Mechaniken so ein bisschen vertraut ist, spielt sich das Spiel eigentlich gar nicht schlecht. Das Wie man Items miteinander kombiniert, das hat mich echt lange gedauert. There's the entire access panel. Very handy, but it's got a weird bolt head configuration. Interesting design idea is the nicest thing I can say about that. Ja, jetzt sollte eigentlich die Fenster aufgehen. Those tamper-proof bolts are kind of like the ones used to secure. Ah ja, das ist. There's the entire access panel. Ah. Very handy, but it's got a weird bolt head configuration. Bingo! Come to pop.
Good boy, Rooter. Thanks to the amazing versatility of the mechanical marvel known as Rooter the Robotic Wonder Mutt, Ace ingeniously overcomes adversity in the form of a ruptured steam pipe. My postulator indicates you're slouching. Don't be a sloucher, dear. So, does that postulator thing tell you if you're talking to an adult? What sadist came up with this act? What was that, dear? You'll have to speak up for Mommy. He said I'll have to charge the battery soon. Ma. Jetzt sind wir in dem Bereich, wo ich noch nicht gespielt habe. Wow. Hm, ich einfach weggeputzt. I see some movement. These tanks are all protected by outer casings. I see some movement. Something swimming around in there. Science! Hmm. Specimens. In my line of work, that word takes on a whole new meaning. Money. I'm guessing this display controls those tanks. I'll take that. A Roombot remote control. Der Specimens ist hier rein unten runter. Trail of strange looking liquid leading down that open drain. That looks like something completely useless to me. Eh, whatever. Whoa! They grow up so fast, don't they? Scary fast. Definitely cuter in the tadpole phase. Well, look at you. You're kind of cute, as lab experiments go, I guess. Heh, <laughs> cute little specimens. 
I'm guessing you guys were engineered for the frozen food section at Cosmo. Multiplying faster than triples in heat on a cellular level. Triflow gate valve looks a little corroded. Yeah, I'm still bothered with routine maintenance around here. That's gonna require a tool and some elbow grease. Or some kind of grease, anyway. Aha! There's the problem. That slimy little turtle off from the lab is plugging up the reactor's cooling pipes. I gotta route him back to whatever cesspool he slithered out of. the right tool for that.
I'm thinking violence isn't the answer here.
displaying all his plumbing prowess. Settle down, squiddly for you. Just plug in the water and let to the reactor. I gotta divert it before the reactor goes critical. Nope. Red. Head back to ship. Okay. So. Water's overflow from somewhere above. That dang creature again, I bet. I don't want to catch blame for this. I better try and fix it. Okay, memo to who might be listening. Artificial gravity on a shipboard elevator? Stupid idea. That hatch looks to be the only escape route. Nope, can't reach it. The way this baby's shuddering, I'd say we only have a minute before it gives way. Yikes! The elevator's getting too heavy. We gotta get out of here, Rooter! looks to be the only escape route. Nope, can't reach it. Hmm. I should have packed my x-ray goggles. Oh well, seen one shaft, you've seen them all. Updating. That's inconvenient timing. Uh, 
Walker shorted out the controls. Gestürzt. Ich bin schon weiter reingeladen, weil ich gestorben bin. Water's overflowing from somewhere above. That dang creature again, I bet. <sighs> okay, memo to who might be listening. Artificial gravity on a shipboard elevator? Stupid idea. This baby's shuddering. I'd say we only have a minute before it gives way. Yikes! The elevator's getting too heavy. We gotta get out of here, Rooter! Your tip of I should have passed. 
pack my x-ray goggles. Oh well, seen one shaft, you seen them? That's gonna require a power tool with the correct... Ah, socket doesn't match. Ich muss es so machen, der andere muss es in der kleinen Frau. Can't leave Ruder down there to short circuit. Hang in there, buddy. I got you. Hang in there, buddy. I got you. Silent Smoothie. Empty. Dang. What's on the menu today? Oh, a little too spendy for my tastes. That looks like something completely useless to me. Oh, hey, another pipeline corridor. Finally, something new to look at. Nice set of pipes. And clean, too. Uh, nothing too interesting to see around here. Gotta be a door opener thingy here somewhere. Empty figures. Ah, the galley. Generally my favorite place on a ship when they're open for business. A uni species relief station. Not so little. Turtle morph. Prepare to be extracted. Everything's backed up because of that critter in the plumbing. What a mess. Hey, now we're talking. We have a pot in this tube. 
feels nice and solid. It looks way more comfortable inside than in my Galaxy Router service shuttle. Cheap bastards. Ah, well that just figures, based on how my day's gone so far. Really, I don't want to taste or talk to it. Everything's backed up because of that critter in the plumbing. What a mess. Everything's backed up because of that critter in the plumbing. What a mess. That's the way I came in. Oh yeah, elevator's on the fritz. No time to make it back to my ship. Gotta find another way off this tub. Those tubes must feed the soil and smoothie machine. They don't look ultra comfortable, but if I had food, I'm sure I'd be able to overlook that. No time for sitting around. This thing's welded to the deck. This thing's welded to the deck. It's not going anywhere. They don't look ultra comfortable, but if I had food, I'm sure I'd be able to overlook that. I should have brought a bigger wrench. I should have brought a bigger wrench. As tempting as that. They don't look ultra comfortable, but if I had food, I'm sure I'd be able to overlook that. Imagine how many real life buttloads of calories have skimmed over this fine aluminum galley counter. And none of them for me. Nope.
Nobody home. This pod launch tube's empty. Hmm, let's see. Hot, cold, dry. Hey, wait a minute. Is this the escape pod deck or the laundromat? Come to think of it, my clothes could use a good rinse cycle after that dip in the sewer plant. The hatch is on the fritz. That explains why this is the only escape pod left on the entire ship. Looks like a removable section of floor panel. It's locked down with another type of non-standard bolt. Looks like a temperature indicator light for the cooling manifold unit. No way. That thing looks hotter than a Jordi LaForge grill. Mm, yeah. Temperature light's firmly affixed and doing its job. I'm not a fan of third degree burns sheathed in rubber. That would be an interesting smell. I believe that's uh, your standard escape pod hatch hydraulic manifold unit. Yeah, that's it. Phew. It's radiating some serious BTUs. I'm glad that smell wasn't me. That's not gonna help in this. Soylent smoothies. An icy cold one sounds refreshing right now. In spite of that whole urban legend thing about what it's really made of. Why do they not originate in the kitchen? This is an interesting bucket, especially with being a relatively new model. Strange. Why do they not originate in the kitchen? This is an interesting bucket, especially with being a relatively new model. Strange. door opener thingy here somewhere. Nah.
I'm almost hungry enough to lick the chalk off the menu board. In my line of work, I see a lot of pipes. And those are some fine pipes, right? Nice set of pipes, and clean too. It's a closed kitchen shutter. I'm late for chow, thanks to no help from Mervyn Spleen. There's gotta be a door opener thingy here somewhere. I don't normally talk to inanimate objects, but in your case, I'll make... It's a closed kitchen shutter. I'm late for chow, thanks to no help from Mervyn Spleen. Mm. That looks like something completely used. Why do they not originate in the kitchen? This is an interesting bucket, especially for being a relatively new model. That's the way I came in. Really, I don't want to taste or talk to it. What's that burning smell? Eh, whatever. That looks like something completely useless to me. Nah, that thing needs to be less skin broily.
Na, irgendwelche Ideen? Und jetzt ein wenig. Ja, schon kann ich da irgendwas mit dem aufgenommenen Kopf machen. Sings. I really have no use for it. This thing's welded to the deck. Nah. Nope. Yeah. Nah. Nope. There's gotta be a. Yeah. Nah. Nope. I'm almost hungry now. Yeah. Be nah. Nope. Yeah. Be the. Nah. Nope. Yeah. Be. Why do they not originate in the Eh, yeah, whatever. That looks like something. Eh, yeah, whatever. Oh, crap. Well, I give myself credit for thinking outside the box, at least. Well, of course, that's not gonna work. Okay, that's not gonna help. No? Well, I. Okay, that's not gonna help. No? Well, of course, that's not gonna work. Okay, that's not. No? Well, of course, that. Okay, that didn't work. That's not gonna help in this situation. What's on the menu today? What's on the what's on the what's on the menu today? Uh, that looks like something completely eh, yeah, whatever. Imagine how many real life butler Imagine how Imagine how many real life Why do they not originate? That looks like something. Why do they not why do they why do they not originate in the kitchen? This is an interesting bucket, especially for being a relatively new model. Strange. Hmm. <laughs> This thing's welded to the deck. This thing's well. This thing's well. This thing's well. Nah. Nope. This thing's well. Yeah. Nah. Nope. Be the. This thing's welded to the deck. Nah. Whatever. 
That looks like something completely useless to me. Everything's backed up because of that critter in the plumbing. What a mess. Everything's backed up because of that critter. so dreist und gucke nach komplett Lösung nach, weil Ah, okay. muss mir hier seinen Kopf nehmen, aber das kann ich nicht, weil das also kann man teilweise nicht, weil das ein Bug ist. Wie es in der kompletten Übung steht, dann soll man halt gucken, dass man in irgendeiner Position kann man ihn nehmen.
If Ruder only had a yawn protocol, he would use it now. While Ruder's optical sensors can't quite see the pool from this awkward angle, his smell sensors complete a mental portrait of what lies below. The utility of such an item is beyond Ruder's capacity. Spectral analysis indicates that item that that does not compute. The utility spectra that does it that does not compute. The tentacled menace still writhes deep below. Every last servo, Rooter struggles to pull Ace free from the tentacled Turtomorph's grip. He needs more power. <laughs> Having pulled Ace from the depths of the mechanical marble known simply as Rooter now gazes upon the lifeless body of his beloved master with great sadness. head slash multi-purpose power to the high. Come up. Yats. I'll use it to store Rooter's parts for the trip home. Got it. Come on, Rooter. all over the controls, but I don't want to risk messing up this kind of crap shit. Normally I'd have my digits all over the controls, but I don't want to risk messing up this kind of crap shit.
Get it, big guy. Your jackass stunt days are long behind. That's not going to help in this situation. Yeah, I'd punch you right in the eye if I could after what you did to Rooter, you big slimy jerk. It's not gonna...
Ja, der Tentakel scheint ihn immer wieder umzuschmeißen, nur dass ich jetzt irgendwie nichts. Kann ich auch fest. Jetzt kann ich auch rum, das ist schon ein bisschen so. Okay, that's not gonna help. Oh, crap. Well, I can miss a lot of course. With a single miraculous flush, he sends the tentacle terror spiraling downward in what quite possibly could be the largest ja, swirly ever given by a sentient being. Im Schweißer. Hat er nicht irgendwie gleichzeitig an zwei unterschiedlichen Stellen? Also, ah, ist das ein Man merkt auch eindeutig den Polish von über äh, von zehn Jahren äh, von zehn Jahren äh, Entwicklungszeit in diesem Spiel. Ach. Having successfully retrieved Ruder's remaining broken component, a glimmer of hope exists that Ace can one day restore his beloved robotic companion. Without even having to crack open an operations manual, Ace calls upon his Wikipedic knowledge of industrial-sized appliances to deduce the proper mixer startup procedure. Or was it just trial and error? The soilient point here, Turtle Morph, is now a delicious liquid protein drink. Warning. Nostradamus self-destruct sequence activated. This is not a drill. At this time, you are instructed to proceed directly to the nearest muster station for emergency escape vehicle boarding. No, really, drop whatever you're doing and run. Do not walk to the nearest escape vehicle station. Repeat. This is not a drill.
Da, ich habe einen Smoothie gemacht. Der steht da jetzt. Den kann ich nehmen. I'll take that. Ja, den brauche ich nämlich, um das Ding zu kühlen. Warning. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Warum? Wer macht denn sowas? Ich hab doch die Probleme alle gelöst. Ja. Soylent Smoothie. Well, looky there. The frosty cold smoothie fits perfectly into the heatsink, as if they were tailor-made for each other. Random coincidence or intelligent design? In a stroke of sheer brilliance, Ace uses the icy cold Soylent smoothie to cool down the overheated pod door transducer thingy. Yeah. These seats all look like they'd accommodate my gluteal expanse. Okay, skate pod, what's the hold up? Punch it! Your attention, please. On behalf of Nostradamus Research, a subsidiary of Centauri Corporation, welcome aboard our Mark 13 class escape capsule. At this time, all passengers should be seated with safety harnesses secured in the down position, seat backs upright, with tray tables safely stowed away. There are no tray tables, and these cheap seats don't even recline. Before we depart, it's important that we take a few moments to go over some of the safety features of this spacecraft. This information can help you in case of an emergency, so it's important to pay close attention, even if you are a frequent fleer. I, uh, thought this was an emergency. Come on there, escape pod, let's do some, uh, escaping. All carry-on items should be securely stowed in bins located under each seat. I'm more of a pockets kind of guy. Now is a good time to activate all those electronic devices to notify any loved ones that you're in certain peril and in need of rescue. Hmm, might not be a bad idea to send Scraps a message. In the unlikely event of a liquidus landing, your seat cushion can be used as a flotation device or, more likely, as a method for filtering toxic gases. A reminder that this is a non-smoking escape and that intergalactic law prohibits tampering with smoke detectors or air filtration devices. If you are seated in an emergency exit row, please confirm that you are capable of carrying out the responsibilities for emergency exit seating. Sir, are you capable and willing to carrying out the responsibilities for emergency exit seating? Yeah, isn't this whole escape pod kind of for emergency exits? Thank you, sir. Once again, on behalf of all the onboard automated systems, we thank you for flying with us today. We know you had other options for escaping, and we appreciate you choosing Pod 13. We invite you now to sit back, relax, and enjoy your escape. Soil and Green weder gelesen noch gesehen bisher. Steht auf meiner uh -oh. meiner Bucketlist aber. Yeah, hi there, boss. Funny thing, I was just punching in your number. Listen, about this Nostradamus job by my van. Okay, well here's the thing. See about the van. Uh, I don't exactly have a will. Okay, now, uh, hold on. I mean, even I have to abort sometimes. You know, it's not like I had a choice. I've never heard that. What do you mean, Doc, my pay? <sighs> Over my dead body, I should have been getting hazard pay for this job. Say again, I, you, you're breaking up. And I mean it this time. 
Well, maybe I fire you first. How about that? I'm firing you as my boss. Well, that went bad. Passengers are now free to float about the cabin. Please remain seated as we are about to experience severe shockwave turbulence. Ugh, I don't feel so good. What? Lecker. I'm feeling too sick to do any manual labor right now. Bet that houses the air scrubber. Come to Papa. By applying a good amount of force, Ace proudly proves to all that contrary to the course textbooks, one can make a square peg fit into a round hole. by around this square filter. Maybe if I plug up these gaps with something non-porous.
An escape pod? Cleverly plugging the gaps around the square filter with a non-porous closed cell seat cushion foam, Ace restores the air scrubber to operational status. Brilliant! Oh, Rooter. Poor, poor Rooter. I'm so gonna get it. Scraps is gonna kill me. Ugh. Danke, danke. Ich bin einfach genial. Ace. Bruder, Bruder, you're alive, sort of. But how? You will build a new ship. Then you will travel to see the two guys from Andromeda. Which two? There are a lot of guys in Andromeda. It's a galaxy. There you will embark on an epic adventure to save the galaxy from a sinister force. Hey, uh, I'm gonna let you finish, little buddy, but, uh, two guys from Andromeda? You mean, THE two guys? The guys responsible for making Cluck Yeager? One of the greatest arcade games of all time? Yeah, right. <laughs> That's gonna happen. And, uh, by the way there, Rooter, did you start talking, like, recently or something? That's, uh, kinda crazy, don't you think? Ace, is that you? Well, tarnation, boy, how the heck did you end up way out here? Scraps, is that you? Hey, uh, Scraps, you're you're coming out of Rooter's mouth. You know that, right? That's a big ten four, good buddy. Don't you worry, I got your back, as usual. You're kind of a sight for sore eyes, you know that? Would you just happen by and think, oh, maybe I'll rescue Ace while I'm out here? Nah, I came trolling for salvage after hearing about the explosion on the scanner. Lucky for you, I installed a homing beacon into Rooter on his last upgrade. I just happened to pick up the signal passing by. How's my little mud anyway? <laughs> hey, Rooter! Hey, boy! Oh, yeah. Well, he's been a little, uh, hmm, scattered lately. <laughs> Probably bouncing off the walls, ready to get out of that tin can, I'm gonna bet you. Okay, yeah, something like that. Well, that's a little better. Thanks there, uh, Scraps. So, uh, about Rooter. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Don't tell me. Not again. Dag nabbit, Ace! Yeah, well, I like to blame someone else whenever I can. This time you get to put them back together. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, I hear you, old man. Can we get out of here now? I have just one word for the kind of day I've had today. Worse than any other day I've had ever! Guys, please. When I asked for a theme song for the launch of our new Centauri game platform, I was hoping for something a bit more epic. Something memorably epic. That's the word, epic. Can we do epic, please? I need more epic. Did I mention I wanted something epic? Oh, and uh, more lens flare, please. Epic. You got it, MF. Oh, you want epic? We can do epic. 
Major fail, guys. You're right, MF. This is all wrong. I told you guys this was all wrong. <laughs> all right, all right. Sheesh, my Davis. Listen up, people. We're only days away from the big launch at Andromacon. Now, we're talking revolutionizing the gaming industry here. So let's get our heads out of Rectonia and get this project back on track. Capiche? Okay, on to other business. Biodivision, you're up. Dr. Spleen? Okay, somebody, where's Spleen? We appear to have lost all communications with the Nostradamus. Mother! Yes, dear, you were about to say, don't make Mother get out her bar of soap hologram. Milo, might I have a word? <sighs> yes, I, Mom 2.0. Okay, everyone, that will be all for now. Milo, dear. I'm afraid there's been an incident, an information leak at our bio-research facility. The Nostradamus? Yes, dear, but not to worry. Mommy has taken care of everything. Uh-oh. Does that mean what I think it- Milo, darling, you know how I've been telling you Centauri was becoming too diversified? I've simply relieved you from the burden of decommissioning the Nostradamus and terminated the entire bio-research division so you can focus on more universally beneficial pursuits. What, like nanotechnology, energy, financial planning? No, silly. Your new video game thingy, of course. It's going to revolutionize the gaming industry. Well, of course it is. Listen, dear. Mummy just realized she has to run and take care of one loose end. So go back to playing with your friends and just let me worry about cleaning up this nasty little mishap. Remember, dear, mummy knows best. Ta-ta! Yes, mother. Okay, die iMom-App ist also scheinbar der Bösewicht in dem Spiel. And, uh, that's pretty much how I ended up in the escape pod there. I guess if you hadn't swung by, Scraps, I'd be, uh, what's that word for it? Uh, thing where you stop functioning. Oh yeah, right. Dead. So, let's see. You lost your ship, lost your job, and lost your dog? Crime any boy. Yeah, I'm the poster boy for sucks to be me. Look, as for your job, well, I've been telling you for eons now, you got to stop a working for these franchise outfits and be in business for yourself. Yeah, but I gotta have a ship. As for losing your ship, well, I got a whole scrapyard full of fixer-uppers. All it would take is a little elbow grease. And as for Rooter, we, I, I mean, you, can fix him too, lickety-split. But you best get on it right away. That clankety canine can come in handy around here. So, aber ich denke, das ist ja hier eine ganz gute Stelle. Kann ich... Ja, speichere ich mal, um Herrn hier mal Schluss zu machen, weil... Ja, ja, Gott. So, das müsste ja gleich dann auch der Ingo dran sein. Der hoffentlich ja schon da ist. Ja, ich meine, das Spiel ist... Hallo, Ingo. Gut, dann mache ich jetzt gleich auch Schluss. So. Das Spiel ist eigentlich... Irgendwo ist es nicht schlecht. Der, der Witz kann teilweise funktionieren. Er ist ein bisschen schwach. Also manchmal ein bisschen arg erzwungene, schlechte Wortspiele. Aber... Ja, gut. Ich meine... Man merkt halt doch sehr stark die vielen Bugs, die in dem Spiel drin sind, dass dann halt die Welt funktioniert, Dinge festhängen, einfach, wie man ja gemerkt hat, wie ich dann gerade mit dem Tentakel halt quasi mehrere Minuten quasi nicht wieder hochkam. Äh, naja. Aber, ja, genau. Äh, 
ja, vielleicht spiele ich das irgendwann, vielleicht kommt ja demnächst nochmal irgendwie ein Update oder vielleicht spiele ich das dann doch mal weiter im Stream. Ich schau mal. Aber so, das wäre es dann aber auch. Ja. Und dann geht es jetzt auch direkt hier weiter mit dem Treasure Hunt vom Ingo. Da freue ich mich schon. Mal schauen, was er heute so Tolles aus der Amiga-Kiste rauszieht. Na dann, ciao, ciao.